Are we filming? Yes, we are. So, um, this is the basis of my Frank and Facts. Um, I have been I've been experimenting with uh, modified file of axes for a very very long time. I am a big fan of uh, moleskins, or in my particular case, um, I use I tend to use a, a moleskin for jotting things down, as you've probably seen from a previous video. Um, I'm a very very big fan of Rodia web notebooks simply because the Clairefontaine paper is amazing. Uh, I like this this sort of just super super clean paper. I prefer, at least in this format, if I'm jotting things down, just plain paper rather than the, the, the dotted or lined or squared paper. Um, but so th this is something that I I love and I love the tactile quality of the the boards in these web notebooks or indeed although they're a bit more rough and ready uh moleskins or moleskiners um they're uh there's something about them uh which i really really like but i just wish that there was a, a moleskin or moleskiner that you in which you could use repositional pages so i've always been i have always been looking for a maybe a rodia um web notebook or a moleskine uh, that um that i could basically make a um like a let's say a rodia a rodia web notebook uh, but with repositional pages, and one of the one of the issues is that the typical, even if you used the carcass of one of these web notebooks, there's not really enough width between here and here to to actually fit a set of rings, and it's and it would be quite sort of convoluted and, and ugly looking to have to, to have a spine which doesn't really have much substance so it wouldn't last very long perhaps if you're using it in anger so it had occurred to me that the way to do this is to have a backing board where instead of the rings fitted on the spine you have them actually on the backing board itself and then that would mean that you would get fantastic flattability and you would get fantastic, fantastic uh, page turning ability. And, and, and there we have it. And there we have it. So why have I, why has it taken me 11 years to discover this? Well, I just put it on the back burner. And then something happened, and I had an epiphany. So here I was, looking for some way of getting the getting an appropriate spine, so that I could have the rings on the spine, and then I could have two boards, possibly the uh, boards um, from a rodeo. Because I I I like the rodeo. I'm not sure. Do I like the rodeo boards best? Or these best. I did make um, a Frankenfax binder where I I just didn't have anything. I just taped this up with with duct tape, and then I had two moleskin boards cut out like that, and I put one like that and one like that, and that worked out to a fashion. But the problem was these 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 boards are actually quite thick and take up a lot of uh, ring space. So I thought, how could I have the the rings, small rings, uh, and I believe these are 11 millimetres. But if I had, if I had the backboard bolted to the actual ring mechanism, 
and then I had some kind of cover on the rings that was strong enough to be a cover, but effectively was like a like a file of hats dashboard, then the amount of ring space would would not be compromised any more than the thickness of uh, effectively what is no more than a dashboard. And then I had and then I had a discovery. So what is this? It looks great, doesn't it? It looks almost like it's been made for the job. The the stitching is perfect. The rings are, as you can see, they're made by Krauss. So we've, we're already onto a good thing here because the the ring mechanism is more or less accepted as the Rolls Royce of rings. And these are quite old, but the 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 actual cut. And I'm not just I'm not trying to bang on about about Krauss rings, but we all know that Krauss rings are the best in the business. Let's 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 not beat about the bush here, but let's not bang on about it too much either. They are they are the business, and we are in the business of making a Frankenfax that will pass muster as a highly versatile working tool. And this is what it's about. This is what it's about for me making a working tool. So we already have no worries about the, the actual construction methods because we've agreed on the format, i.e. the rings are attached to the backing board rather than having a separate spine. Uh, I'm accepting the fact that we have got almost... <coughs> an exoskeleton style uh, which is not hidden and do you know what I think this looks fantastic I know I keep banging on about working tool working tool working tool but this not only gives exceptional you cannot get better flatability than that obviously because there's no spine in the way but also I think with this row I'm using the cover of a Rodia um, notebook which is plasticated card it's the same consistency as a as a one of those um Farlefax rulers perhaps a little bit thinner but nevertheless uh the this is really tough stuff and uh, the, the the beauty of it is the back will last for a hundred years because crawl rings will last a hundred years, as we know. This will not wear out. There's no protuberances here. There's no rivets here to be, to be scratching your table. So if you open it here, there's nothing here. There's no metal touching your nice, nice posh coffee table. Um, so from a from a surface protection point of view, this ticks all the boxes and from from the looks point of view i actually think this sort of exoskeleton look with the rodeo design in my opinion even though even though i i'm interested in purely uh function form and function i i believe this is a fantastic design purely by accident because the because the the actual having the having the ring mechanism exposed like this, especially when it's such a nice Krauss one, is inspired. And uh, it's not me that's doing the inspiring. I have been inspired by this purely serendipitous discovery of what I think is verging on the ultimate in uh, workability, in the ultimate form and function, and I absolutely love it. Um, so I guess you're, I guess you're answering. Where did I get this from? Where is it? Well, this is the insert in a, a Mulberry personal size Filofax, uh, and one of their models has this, this. Um, this board that slots into a leather, almost like a wallet style leather, so you can remove this. And I have also seen this on the uh, Safiano Zip. You have one of these uh, which slots into the Safiano, Filofax Safiano Zip, and so you can remove it uh, at will. Um, I don't think the rings are cruel, so I think they're just a, like a cheap cheap alternative but um 
they're probably more than good enough. I'm just going to blow my nose. <laughs> but if you are, if you come across one of these on eBay, I would, I would uh, just get it for the, uh, for the. Um, I mean, I'm I'm talking into competing against me, really, because <laughs> I'm looking for one of these myself. But uh, I um, I think probably uh, having one of these is enough, simply because unlike um, I'm I'm a fan of the uh, Guildford Mini Extra Slim, as we know, but the, they tend to, they they they're terrible at falling apart. They they have an element of wear to them, which means when you buy one, you really need to be immediately looking for your next one because you need a replacement when your your previous existing File of Facts Guildford Mini Extra Slim wears out. And I'm not just talking about the interior leather, I'm talking about the quality of the rings as well, which don't seem to be able to... Well, certainly mine, they, they seem to be suffering a bit uh, with constant use, constant daily use. But these are Krause rings which should stand up to a lifetime of regular use, as long as you don't put this in your back pocket and sit on it and bend the rings. So you're looking at a bag, backpack, handbag or jacket pocket for this one because it's the personal size, so there's, they're quite tall. Um, but essentially, the, the key to this, the key to this amazing uh, discovery uh, and it is just a purely a discovery. I haven't really designed it, have I? It's it is just a it's just one of those wow factor moments that that I have had as a Filofax enthusiast and discovered something that I can make that isn't even uh, a Filofax. But the, this is kind of a, a like a board covered in some kind of leather cloth. It it has a style all, all of its own, and it and it's very practical on on polished wood surfaces it's not going to do any damage and so let's see what we're going to do here so as i said a dashboard and then we have some paper let's see if i can put these all in one go i think i've got here our what paper am i using so this is just normal photocopy paper 80 grams per square meter uh, I'm not quite sure, but there are, I think, 60 sheets. And then on top of that, I have just made out of uh, part of the the uh, cover, I've made, it's not a ruler, uh, you could have a Filofax ruler, but it's just a, um, it's just a, uh, a like a, a mini dashboard I've made that just sticks up that just sticks up slightly higher so you, you can use it as a page finder. But um, what am I going to do with this? Well, my intention is to use it as a daily working tool. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but the the fact is that if you compare this to... Um, this, is a, this is a standard size Filofax page. Actually, if I do it here, if I put it in here, these rings are really, really lovely to use. So we can, we could either use this size if we were going to use dividers and tabs. Perfectly all right. Uh, it's quite a slimline design, so there's no nothing frou frou about it, um, and. Uh, and and in in my particular case, I I prefer to maximise the real estate of paper. So I'm using a custom a custom piece of paper that that is slightly it uses the full size. So it almost looks like it almost looks like a moleskin or a rhodia. Um, and I I actually love this this style compared to I mean this is a pocket. A pocket Kent, but um, I just, I just think that this style is so much more workable in the fields than a than a binder, especially since it, you know, it just opens. Whereas the um, the Kent, it doesn't, and 
I'm not saying that this is this is bad because someone might be very very happy to hold it open with a hand and then write. But do you know what? I'm not a fan of that so much. I prefer a a, a binder. Uh, to open and stay open and you cannot obviously get better than that nice clean pages nothing pretentious a perfect design i'm a big fan of these 11 millimeter rings because it means that you can actually write and it big rings can be a hindrance um so this just i i i feel very very inspired by this design. I, I could have rounded the corners a little bit better, but at the end of the day, it works very well and it's everything is repairable. If ultimately at some point this wears out or the rings go wrong, I could potentially get one of these or I could have a board made and then get some rings and then attach them to here. And this is the crucial thing because I know some of you like using massive rings. I just want you to think about something. Just imagine, instead of the personal sized uh, binder here, just imagine you start with, I mean it's so big I'd need to move the camera, but just imagine you start with an A5 board, a pair of boards, and you you remove them. And then on the on this side, you get, you buy, a set of rings, but instead of 11 millimeter rings, you buy, shall we say, 30 millimeter rings or even 35 millimeter rings. It's going to cost you a few pounds. You could even buy a set of Krauss rings for maybe twenty twenty dollars. I know they're a, they're a lot more expensive than the cheap ones that uh, some uh, some manufacturers use instead of uh, Krauss rings, but you can elect to make your own very very simply by getting a board uh of from the binder of your choice uh from not the binder from the from the from the the uh bound notebook of your choice pick up one where you've you've used it for writing and jotting and 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 it's come to the end of its natural life and you don't want to keep all the the paper so you just get some sort of board of your choice then buy the rings then bolt them to the board maybe cover the, the cover the the two bolts or the four bolts with some material so um, countersink them into the board so that they so that it's super smooth like this this is super smooth because it's because it's just using a little bit the actual attachment points are fairly flush so you could do it so you do it on here then you have your oh, sorry this end and you have your say your 30 millimeter rings and then you just have a dashboard made from the material of your choice i'm using rhodia and then suddenly you have particularly if you if you use a, a Rodia or a Moleskine um, backboard, you automatically have the uh, the securing mechanism okay which which this doesn't have but it could do with with a piece of elastic but if you choose to use the elastic that's already attached, that could be very very neat and tidy and you could have either, you could have it in A5 size or slightly above A5 size. You can even you could even do it with a very small size indeed. So you buy a set of rings and 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 then well it, it would be it would be lovely, wouldn't it? So what I'm saying, what I'm basically saying is with a little bit of ingenuity, you could make yourself a working Filofax style tool, a six ring binder of any size or a, or a five ring binder if it's the, the mini, this mini size, so it's genuinely pocketable and and then with with a dashboard and using the exoskeleton principle rather than having it covered, if you accept that this is a, a minimalist design that you subscribe to, you could have a very very versatile system indeed all of which would give you 
what many of you aspire to, and that is perfect flattability. None of this BS about uh, training the leather when you're on a hiding to nothing because the leather is actually just stuck to a, a, an intransigent man-made substrate and it's never ever going to uh, going to give you the flattability to, to, to which you aspire. This will give you perfect flattability on day one. Now, this has been a 20 minute video. Um, I could have explained this in, in two minutes flat, but do you know what? I am so pleased about this that I thought it deserved, it deserved a little bit of eulogy. And with that eulogy, I leave with you. And uh, I hope it's inspired you. And um, all I can say is I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, goodbye.